This is an essay from Civil Services Main Examination 2021. The topic of the essay is a statement, the real is rational and the rational is real. Actually, this is a quote by George Hegel, who was a German philosopher. In this essay, I have tried to justify this statement with the help of some examples. In the conclusion part, this is the conclusion part of this essay, I have further clarified the intimate relationship between real and rational. For me, this is the most beautiful part of this essay and this is the main idea of this essay. Now, let's read this essay. We decide anything, whether it is real or unreal, by applying our rational or logic. Let us take a simple example. Suppose now you have mobile phone in your hands, which is a reality. How do one comes to know that the object in your hands is a mobile phone? Answer is, it looks very much like a mobile phone. It has all the features and functions of a mobile phone. So this is a rational which helps to identify the reality that the object in your hands is a mobile. Now let's apply this rational in a question form. What is the object in your hand that looks like mobile phone and has all the features and functions of mobile phone? Of course, answer will be mobile phone which is the reality. So, rational and reality complement each other. The statement real is rational and rational is real was given by German philosopher George Hegel. Hegel belonged to school of idealism who see thoughts or ideas just like physical world or actual world. The quote real is rational and rational is real can be applied for ideas or thoughts also. That whether an idea or thought is real or genuine can be decided by applying rational or logic. For example, patriotism is a real or genuine idea as it is concerned with love for country, sacrifice for country which gives us protection and take care of our needs. So this is the rational which helps to justify that patriotism is a real or genuine idea. Forest conservation is real or genuine idea. The rational is that forests give us oxygen, control climate and have number of benefits. Now, let us see the concept in reverse by questioning with rational. Should we cut forest which provide us oxygen and so many other benefits? Answer will be no. No, rather we should conserve the forest. So, this is a real or genuine idea. So, idea of forest conservation and rational behind forest conservation are interwoven with each other. Therefore, real is rational and rational is real. Honesty, kindness, loyalty are real or genuine ideas as they can be justified by noble rational. Rational or logic may vary from person to person. As, as a result, the perception of real or genuine may also vary from person to person. I repeat, rational or logic may vary from person to person. As a result, the perception of real or genuine may also vary from person to person. But whatever is rational for someone, that is also real or genuine for him or her. For example, for me, terrorism is irrational and unreal or fake idea. But for a jihadi of ISIS, the rational or logic is that he is fighting for justice to save religion. Hence, he will not accept that terrorism is an unreal or fake idea. In voting, people vote to candidate whom they think most real or genuine and do not vote for, who, for those whom they think are unreal or fake. Every voter has his own logic or rational to decide that who is real or genuine candidate and who is unreal or fake. For a theist who believes in God, God is real and there is rational behind worshipping the God. But for an atheist, atheist means who doesn't believe in the existence of God, but for an atheist, God is unreal or fake, hence there is no rational behind worshipping the God. So the reality and rational vary from person to person. Although rationality may vary from person to person, as each person can think differently, he can have different ideology, but the fact is that 
every person perceives reality through his own rational rational or logic decides what is real and what is fake and what is real or genuine depends upon the rational behind it so idea of being real and rational behind it are tightly interwoven with each other perception of something as real and rational behind this perception are like two bodies but one soul therefore real is rational and rational is real thank you